Hi friend, welcome to my channel and today I will be showing you how to make this mouth watering barbecue chicken like you never seen barbecue chicken done before. I'm trying to tell you, stay tuned, you do not want to miss this. All right, friend, let's jump right into it. So here I have some cut up bell peppers. I have yellow, red, and green, and I have a cut up onion, a one whole onion cut up, okay? And for the bell peppers, you could use a half of a half or more or less. You can't really go wrong. Then I'm going ahead and I'm taking some garlic cloves and I'm um, taking the skin off of the garlic. All I'm doing is taking my knife, pushing it down on the garlic and removing the skin. You guys, I'm using so much garlic because them little garlic things were so small. Look at them. They so little. Maybe nobody ever told them bigger is always better. <laughs> no, don't nobody want nothing small. Don't nobody got time for that. But at the same time, you got to be careful because just because it's small doesn't mean that it ain't got some magic in it. You know the saying, it's not how big the stick is, but how much magic the stick has in it. <laughs> Cha. Anyway, anyway, I had to go ahead and use them little garlic pieces, them little small behind garlic pieces, because that, that's what I had, okay? So, um, I used a whole bunch of them, but depending on the size of yours, if you have like the nice size one, you could use three to four. I think I'm using about six to seven, okay? So, all you're going to do is remove the skin from the garlic, and then after that, you're going to take the garlic, and you're going to mince them. You're going to cut them up real small into small, small pieces, okay? And um, we're going to need that later on for the chicken. After you're done cutting them up real small, you're going to go ahead and you're going to set them to the side until later on. Boom. Now, moving on into the chicken. This is the chicken that we're using. I got this from Sam's, okay? And I paid $5.01 for it. I like to show you guys the prices of stuff because groceries is expensive. And I would um, like for you guys to know approximately how much you're going to spend on this meal, okay? So, you guys, look at this. This is why you clean your chicken. Look at this. You see them feathers? Look at this. You see them feathers? Look at this. This is why we clean our chicken, baby. Like I tell y'all before, when I'm eating, I want to feel like I'm on Sesame Street eating Big Bird, okay? I don't want to eat Big Bird. Big Bird is my friend. I don't want to feel like I'm eating Big Bird. So I want to make sure I take my time and clean my chicken and remove that, that, that kind of stuff off my chicken. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove that little yellow thing that's always on the chicken. I don't like that right there. That right there don't sit right with me, okay? So we're going to go ahead. We're going to remove it. You see how easy it was for me to remove. It don't even take much time and any of the remainder that you can just remove like I did um, with the first piece you're just gonna go ahead you're gonna scrape it with your knife just like that and it's gonna come right off it's very easy to take off you ain't gotta do too much work you ain't gotta do too much muscle work too much arm work whatever you want to call it you ain't gotta do it friend so just go ahead and make sure you clean it and then you're gonna take your um, chicken and you're going to put a slit in your chicken. And the reason why we're putting the slit is so when we season our chicken, some of that seasoning could get into that chicken much easier because it got that slit in it, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys again. So you guys see the little yellow part that's around the, um, what you want to call that, the, the the ankles? Or I don't know what that is, baby. But right there, the the, the, um, the drum part right there, you're going to go ahead, you're just going to go ahead, you're going to remove the yellow part. And you see it right here. I'm just going to go ahead and remove the rest with my hand so you can see see it it just make the food look more appealing to the eye i don't like seeing it on my chicken i just feel like the chicken is not clean the chicken a little bit dirty and it just need to take a little bit of bath okay need to take a bath a little bit okay that's how i feel so i gotta remove mine but like i always tell you baby if you don't mind if you don't mind feeling like you're eating big bird and you don't mind having the feathers in your food and you don't mind that yellow stuff getting in your food and it all tastes the same to you but baby you know what that's your business you go ahead and, and, and you do that i remember I remember you guys, I was on the internet surfing the net and I was watching people cook. I love watching people cook. I just love watching people cook. I don't know why I always do. And, um, the first time ever I seen somebody take a, the container like that you see right there that my chicken is in and they just flipped a whole container into a pot just like that. They just opened it and they just put it in the pot just like that. You guys, I was appalled. I was so shocked. My mouth dropped. I, I never seen nothing like that before. I promise you, I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, oh God, I never seen nothing like that. I was so shocked. You guys, I was like, wow. Like, like people just, just, just put the chicken in the, in the pot like that. Like that's crazy. But you know what, baby? I had to learn. That's their business. 
moving on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wash my chicken. After I done did everything with that, I cleaned it up or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give that chicken a rinse. And you see the color of the water. The water not even clear. The water kind of whitish a little bit. That's how you know you need to wash your chicken child. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start to um, sanitize my chicken. And I always tell you guys the reason why I do this is for the smell. The smell of the chicken. You don't want your chicken to, to smell like outside. And I am going to go ahead and remove my gloves because I don't want to have no cross contamination. I'm going to touch all them bottles and I don't want to use use the, um, the gloves to touch them and then touch the chicken again. That's why I really don't even like to use gloves. And some of y'all be thinking when you use gloves, everything is all clean, but that's not true. Cause if you don't constantly change your gloves, then there was no point of using them. So I put one cup of, um, lemon lime juice in there. Now I'm gonna put one cup of vinegar. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my lemon. Well, this is definitely a lime one lime and I'm gonna cut up and put in there. I wanted to use two to three limes, but I only had one good lime in my refrigerator. All the rest of my limes was was done. They was up and through there. They was dried up. So I had to toss them. So that's the only lime that made the cut. So I had to use one lime. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just maneuver that lime all over the chicken. I'm going to maneuver the chicken all over the lime just to make sure it's nice and clean so my chicken don't smell like outside. After it's been sitting, it don't smell raw. It, it don't sunty clean. That's how the Haitians say it. That means like it don't smell raw. It don't smell like outside. Okay. So we want to make sure we wash that thoroughly. Make sure all the chicken got some of that vinegar and lemon juice and some lime juice. We're going to make sure all that lime juice got some of that chicken. And if you have time, you can let this sit for about five to ten minutes just so we can make sure that smell go away. But if you don't, baby, just go ahead and do that and then rinse it, rinse it out right away. Either way, you, you, you're going to be all right, okay? Because you did clean your chicken and some of that lime and the vinegar did get into that chicken and the, you won't have that smell that I'm talking about. And then, baby, if you like, baby, I really don't know what you're talking about when you're talking about that smell. Then don't worry about it because obviously it don't bother you, so don't worry about it. But if you know what I'm talking about, then you know. If you know, then you know. All right, then we're going to go ahead. We're going to remove the lime pieces. We're going to throw them in the trash. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to rinse our chicken. We're going to rinse it a couple of times until our water runs clear. You see how the water is now nice and clear? It's no longer like foggy looking like it was the first time when we washed the chicken. That's that's how, that's how we want it. That's the business that we want. We want that business right there. Okay, then we're going to go ahead. We're going to give it a final rinse, you guys. You see, we don't, we don't play. We don't play. We got to make sure that chicken real good. We got to make sure that chicken real clean, okay? And then we're going to go ahead. We're going to strain it one more time to remove all of the water from it. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to grab a paper towel. And I'll tell you, if you don't want to waste all that paper towel because it, money don't grow on trees and you need money to buy paper towels, you could go ahead and use a clean cloth to pat the um, the chicken dry. I'm not really patting all the chicken dry. Just making sure the bottom of the pot, um, of the it's not a pot, the bottom of the um, bowl is dried up, okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab some extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to put three three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil just so um, the seasoning could stick into the chicken. That's going to help the seasoning stick to the chicken. Then I'm going to use one tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Okay. And if you have fresh lemons, you could just do it. You could do it like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the bell peppers, the onions, and the garlic that I chopped up earlier into the chicken. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my Badea Complete Seasoning. We're going to put one tablespoon of that. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to grab our Goya, okay? Um, our Goya um, adobo. We're going to add one tablespoon of that. We're going to add Badea all purpose seasoning salt one tablespoon of that okay then we're gonna go ahead we're going to grab some garlic powder we're gonna put one teaspoon of that onion powder one teaspoon of that paprika one teaspoon of that black pepper one teaspoon of that okay yes you need all the seasoning okay your chicken gonna be good do not worry do not be afraid it's going to be salty friend i would not lead you to the wrong path trust me follow me i know the way okay trust me put all that seasoning to your chicken you got a good amount of chicken so you need to put a good amount of seasoning then we're going to go ahead. We're going to add some Maggie. We're going to add one tablespoon of Maggie. Okay. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to squeeze it. We're going to go ahead. We're going to put it in there and we're going to maneuver the chicken all around. This chicken is going to be flavorful. This chicken is going to be good. This chicken is going to hit the spot. Okay. This chicken is going to be everything. I'm trying to tell you, make sure you mix everything together. And if you have the time, if you have the time, let it sit overnight. Okay. Okay. 
if you have the time in a perfect world. But you know, sometimes in real life, the real world that we live in, it don't always work like that, baby. Sometimes you got to whip up something real quick. Sometimes you ain't got the time to let nothing sit overnight. And if you don't, baby, that's okay because it's still going to taste real good. As long as you follow these directions, it's still going to taste real good. I'm trying to tell you. And then we're going to go ahead. We're going to take an aluminum tray and we're going to put that chicken in that aluminum tray. We're going to try to make it fit, baby, because um, that's a lot of chicken. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to take the rest of the bell peppers and the onions and the uh, um, seasoning salt and everything that was at the bottom of the pan we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put it all over the chicken because we want all the smoke we need all that flavor for the chicken this is what's gonna make your chicken pop this is what's gonna make your chicken everything okay so you want to make sure you use all of that season then we're gonna go ahead Ooh, baby, look at that. Look at that. That thing look good. That must look, look good. It ain't even cooked yet, child. You already know the chicken about to be the bomb.com. Go ahead and put it in your oven at 350 degrees in the middle rack covered with aluminum foil for one hour, which is 60 minutes. Set your time, okay? Boom. Then when you take it out after one hour, it's going to look like this. Okay, this is how it's going to look. Dum, dum, dum. And no, it's not done yet. We not done yet. We just getting started. Boom. So now what we're going to do is we're going to extract the water from the chicken. We're going to need that water for something else later. You're going to see. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to remove all of the water. Okay. All of the water from the chicken. Okay. Boom. Just like that. Put it into a bowl. Do not throw it away because we're going to need it. Like I told you, set it to the side. We're going to put the chicken back in the middle rack uncovered at 350 degrees for a 45 more minutes. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to put a bowl. We're going to put a tablespoon of butter, two um, tablespoons of um, light brown sugar. You could use brown if you have that, baby. That's your business. Just use some kind of dark sugar, okay? Then after that, we're going to go ahead. We're going to put one tablespoon of honey. You, have, you know, you have to use your little fingers to get the rest of the honey because, you know, honey thicker than a snicker. That thing thick like me. <laughs> so, you know, you got you to gotta use your fingers to get it. And that's the kind of honey I use. And yes, baby, I'm still over here with the great value, okay? Then I put um, a half a cup of that juice we got from the chicken into that bowl and mix everything together. And because it was hot is it's, it's gonna um, melt the sugar and melt the butter then we're gonna use this jack daniels honey barbecue sauce we're gonna put that into there okay we're gonna um do this because you know we, black people you know we ain't gonna waste the rest of that stuff in there we ain't gonna put no water because we don't need to put water we could use that sauce right there from the chicken we don't gotta add nothing with, with, with our flavor in our food so we're gonna use that water right there we're gonna close it up give it a little shake baby and we're gonna put it right back in because baby we want everything don't play with it don't play with it baby find somebody else to play with okay then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna give everything a mix okay we're gonna give everything a mix and always make sure you taste your food always make sure you taste it baby because what i like you might not like and what you like i might not like so even if i tell you to do something always taste it then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put about half a cup of um um baby rays honey barbecue sauce in there okay we're gonna give that a mix then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to grab some hot sauce yes friend hot sauce and it's just gonna give it a little zing like you know not enough to make it hot you see this ain't enough to do nothing just enough to give it a little zing hey yes then you're gonna go ahead you're gonna mix all that together mix it mix it very well and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna set that to the side and wait until the chicken is nice and ready for that barbecue sauce that we created for it okay this is the star of the dish this was gonna make your chicken all that okay boom this is the chicken straight out the oven baby that chicken look good and that chicken was so good you could eat it by yourself like that to be very honest with you you, you, you shoot i wanted to but i had already made the barbecue sauce and i already said this was gonna be barbecue chicken but baby let me show you something let me show you something okay look at that chicken look at that chicken look how juicy that chicken is oh child let me give it a moment of silence Look how juicy that chicken is. You already know that chicken good. That chicken is good and that chicken is cooked, okay? So now we're going to go ahead. We're going to add the barbecue sauce onto the chicken because remember, this is barbecue chicken. And we want to put a lot of barbecue sauce. We don't want to just have a little bit of barbecue sauce. Like, we want a lot of barbecue sauce. So we're going to put the barbecue sauce all over the chicken. We're going to cover the chicken with the barbecue sauce, okay? We even going to take our little spatula thingy majiga, whatever that's called, our little brush, and we're going to brush some of that barbecue sauce into that chicken we're gonna put a little bit more barbecue sauce into that chicken and then we're gonna put that chicken on the top rack at 500 degrees for 10 minutes 
Okay? Just so it can char a little bit and so that barbecue sauce can cook a little bit into that chicken. Okay? And as soon as you do that, baby, make sure you watch it because you might five to ten minutes. Okay? And boom, this is how it's going to look when it come out. I let mine stay in there for ten minutes, baby. And this is how it looks. Ooh, child, that chicken know it look good. I see you. I see you. A boy ever take you to his house and um his mama and his um uncles and them see you and you look good. Now you like, I see you. I see you, nephew. I see you. That's what that chicken doing. I see you, chicken. But when you go to a Haitian household, okay, and if uh, if your Haitian dude ever take you somewhere and um they, they not gonna say I see you, they gonna say again by guy. If you go to a Haitian establishment and you with your man and they say again by guy, that mean I. See I see you. I see you, nephew. I see you. That's that chicken. I see you, chicken. Ooh, give a guy. Yes, okay? Baby, you know I'm cute. Whenever my, whenever any of my boyfriends that I ever had take me next to their people, they be like, "Gang by a guy," or "I see you." Uh, I see you. <laughs> if they don't say I see you, friend, you might want to go home and try again because they don't see you, friend, and you need it to be seen. In other words, friend, um, you 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 not look like that chicken. You don't look good. Okay, boom. And let me just cut into that chicken so y'all can see how good this chicken look and why this chicken gonna be the i see you again by guy chicken let, let me just give this chicken a moment of silence for the beauty that it holds yes yes don't play with it baby don't play with it baby this the i see you chicken this the chicken when you cook and you bring it to the barbecue they gonna say i see you i see you auntie i see you give <laughs> my guy i'm trying to tell you i'm trying to tell you thank you guys for watching don't forget to like don't forget to comment and go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos bye until next time